Hi, today we're going to trace an image into Illustrator. So first I'm going to drag this image, which I just imported from a telephone, and drag it into Photoshop. Um, I left it this way so we can see how to adjust the orientation. So we can go here to Image, Image Rotation, and Flip canvas vertical. So there it is. As you can see this is sort of uh, an idea of a character and before uh, <clears throat> tracing this into Illustrator I'm going to clean the sketch and refine it very loosely so, um, so it is easier to trace. Okay, so now I'm going to use the brush. I'll press B and then I'll use a brackets to adjust the size and use the eyedropper to pick some color from the image itself and then start painting around so I'm sort of isolating the figure All right. I'm pressing Ctrl and Alt at the same time and click and drag in so I can adjust the size of the paintbrush in, on the fly. Instead of pressing the brackets and doing it gradually, I can do it on the fly by, by, by pressing Ctrl and Alt. This is very useful once you get used to it. Okay. So now, I'm going to uh, merge layers, I'll press Command E, so it is one layer, and then I'll press Command L, so I can adjust the levels, and then I'll adjust, these are the three levels of the image, these are the shadows, the middle tones, and the highlights. So I'll start dragging the highlights so the image looks whiter, and I don't know, less, less grayer. Okay, then I'll come here and start refining the sketch with the brush tool. The only thing I'm going to do is the sample, the sample some background color, change the size of the brush, and, and that's it. By the way, I'm using a mouse, I'm not using a tablet, so you only have to get used to it. It's really not that complicated. Okay. I'm not going to take too long because I want to make this brief so you can absorb as much as much information as you can and not get bored and we'll do it like this Okay. Well, I think this is kind of enough, just the basic structure. As you see. Okay. Here it is. 
I'm going to adjust levels once again. Then adjust brightness by going to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. So here I'm going just to define the teeth of the character. And I'm just cleaning it a little bit. So now I'm going to press C to crop and adjust the size of the image. And press enter. Okay, then I will press Command Shift S to save as and save this as character sketch into the desktop and now I'll close Photoshop here we can see the clean version of the sketch then we'll go to Adobe Illustrator which is my favorite uh, software and we'll press command N for opening a new document and press OK then, this is very important to import the sketch. Do not drag it to Illustrator and open it because it will alter the color scheme in a very weird way. So uh, the way I always do it is by going to File, Place, and then the character sketch. Then click on drag. Okay. Now we are going to double click on the layer and set it to dim images. Most most of the time I use fifteen percent because this allows me to see the drawing clearly. And then I'll just block the layer and open a new layer to start tracing. I'm going to do the lines first. So here I'm going to choose no fill color and a five point stroke. Okay, first we're gonna do the nose. So we're going to select the circle and draw it like this. Okay. Now that we have the nose, we, get, we can um, adjust the variation of the, um, of the line by pressing Shift W. I am using Illustrator CC. The, I, I think this uh, option is available on the last two versions of Illustrator. I'm not sure. But if you have it, just press Shift W and click on drag. OK. That was a little bit too much. Okay, if you want to make a subtle adjustment, you just got have to zoom closer into the image so, so you can make a more delicate adjustment. 
So there's a nose, and then we're going to use the circle again. Just click and drag over our sketch, and then I'm just going to to select the shape and put the, the cursor on the stroke and, and move the arrow keys up so I can with the arrow keys change the, the, the size of the stroke so I'm just going to leave it like that then I'm going to use the circle again <laughs> to do the eyes so as you can see I'm concentrating on this red line that I'm drawing because that's like the skeleton of the of the shape. Then I'm going to press C to cut, and I will cut this shape where it where it where I can erase a part of the shape. Okay. Then I'm going to select it with the black arrow key. The shortcut is B. And I'm going to stroke and I'll cap this uh, stroke so as you can see this has a flat uh, ending and if I press cap we get a much nicer ending around the ending so we can mix this with the shift W technique and and make pretty cool eyes with a little effort. So I'll just press w, uh, Shift W again and make a little um, smaller this part of the eye. Okay. And then I'm just going to select it and press Alt and then click and drag. And then just rotate it a little and change the size. And there is the second eye. Okay, I'm going to save this as character. And then I'm going to do the whiskers of the creature. So I'll just drag the line tool and draw the whiskers. I'll do I'll I'll uh, increase the size. Okay, so now that has been done, I'll just have to keep drawing the whiskers. Okay, so now we have drawn the whiskers. Here you can see I went far, too far, so I'm going to press A 